Hi, Floss Tube. This is take three because of dogs. Ella is staring at me. I've got two outside. The Barkers, see, it's very nice outside, so no worries. Um, it is March 29th, 2019. This is Floss Tube 24, and I'm Amy. Amy loves toads. Um, my Tennessee mug from Janine. I found out what the turtle was for. The state reptile for Tennessee is a box turtle. Mm. An eastern box turtle. So, <laughs> um, oh, let's see here. I have one FFO. I started this a really long time ago. It's a male hill kit called Cardinal Forest. It's a male and a female cardinal. And it never called to me. It was just too daunting. Um, this, all that green and all that white and half of it is beads. And I just didn't want to bead. I just want to cross stitch. So I started finishing the bottom and beading the bottom and realized I really do like to bead. I just have to start beading to like it. The cross stitch calls to me, the beading doesn't. But once I start beading, I like it. So there it is. Cute. I love how it turned out. So I put some like wool felt on the back. The two barkers are outside. They might make the two inside start barking, but I don't know. My husband is home. I told him not to come in. He's out in the garage his um, machine shop he is expecting steel to be delivered today so when the steel man shows up they're gonna go crazy but, so I love that I love how it turned out that's one of my stitch nine I put it on my stitch nine because um, I just needed to get it done it's old whip not anymore um I had a new start my new start I'm gonna get the picture out of my bag, my cardinal bag. I started the dimensions kit called Mason Jar Lineup. This is gonna be a Christmas present. And I forgot to tell y'all last time that I'm not doing the, let's see, I'm stopping it there. So I'm doing the first one, two, three, four, five jars I'm making it smaller so I'm only doing these it came with Ada uh, um, a hard scratchy stiff Ada so I'm not using the Ada I am using the threads and I used um, Julie Kansas City girl in a Colorado world. She's doing a dimensions kit. And she put holes in the top of her little things. Like these little holes to hold your extras if you didn't finish. So that was a great idea. So I'm doing that. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? But look at the colors. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> so anyway, I know you want to see it. Here we go. So this is my new start. I think it's on 28... Jobelin with my beetle needle minder from Janine McGowan from Nashville <laughs> uh, and it came from Kitten Stitcher's boot. So in that once the back stitching gets on that flower it's gonna be so pretty. I love it already. It's weird stitching with two threads because I'm so used to stitching with one, but <laughs> it's all good. I worked on some insects from my insect sampler. This is Stony Creek. Um, I 
pamphlet that's got a bunch of patterns in there. And this one is called the Insect Sampler. And I did these little ladybugs down here. So that's a Katie did and ladybugs. And they're there. And this is on a 36 white or antique white linen. Um, and I'm stitching it one over two. That is Basil barking outside. <laughs> so next will be the Monarch Butterfly, I believe, which will be a little more work than Ladybugs. I have that in my bra bag from Christine, stitch all the things. Here comes my husband. I told him not to come in. But sure enough, oh no, maybe he's calming the dogs down for me. He's so good. <laughs> yeah, he's call, calming the dogs down. Um, my Jeanette Douglas Vintage Animals. Okay, see the holes if you're new here. I love frogs and toads. I love all animals, but I really, really love frogs and toads have my whole life as long as I can remember um, and I'm sprinkling frogs and toads in these holes with this so I added that toad right there and that little tree frog and that little toad right there And this. this is on 36 Legacy, one over two. Um, let me show you if you're new here. Oops, sorry, not the table. Okay, there's a frog there, and there is a toad there, and the tree frog there, and then a toad there. So I finished, did I finish the letters last time? I may have finished the letters last time. I did the whole bottom and put a little, I think he's a hedgehog or a porcupine down there. See him, he's way at the bottom. The bunny rabbit. Um, I think that's all I did. And I love this piece, it's beautiful. And um, Leah. Aviatrix Stitcher gave me that butterfly needle minder, which goes perfect with this. Um, my club piece, and I called the club the Kindred Stitchers last time. That's Lisa. It's the Kindred Spirit, right? Why can't I not get that? I don't know. Anyway, it's designed to Stitch Club. This is Plum Street. The next pattern will be from Beth Twist. Um, Heartstring Samplery. And it's all like a patriotic theme. So, And it's a kit, so it came with everything. Um, 36. Hold on, let me see. This is... French Vanilla, r and beautiful, wonderful to stitch on. It looks like it's about done, but really it's not. Um, I do have this whole side of the house done. I need to fill in the panes here, the windows, and I think the white from here up, like the mortar between the bricks. I need to finish the flag and the white in the flag I need to finish inside these stars and then put the words at the top so God shed his grace on me so really it it looks like I'm almost done but um, it's probably 
another three days of stitching on it. And I, I believe I'm going to finish it just like this because um, they give you the trim. They even give you this little thing to hang it. So it'll be, I'll, I think I'm going to do like a flat fold. Um, watch Vanna's tutorial, Vanna Pfeiffer's tutorial and do that. So almost there. Okay, my last whip I worked on is my Hade. It's called Mini Top Frog. And that's what it's gonna look like in about 10 years. And I am right there at that corner. Right there, that little corner right there. Okay, but fun to work on, fun to watch it grow. There's my corner. <laughs> I don't think I had any of this yellow last time and I came over a little more with the black and dark green. And I think, you know, I probably brought both of those down a little bit. I need, I found out, I, well, I probably need 10, 15 more colors, so I'm lacking, so I need to get those colors before I work on it again, and I want to show you something, maybe, kind of, I don't want to get in trouble, but, so I had purchased a Bags Plus Floss Buddy when Michelle did her, I think it was a live sale. And I thought, oh, that'd be great for my hate. I can see my colors. There's so many colors. I think there's 88. And I bought it and I fell in love with it. This thing is awesome. And I wanted another one. So I got some fabric and I'm just going to have, I think Corinne, is that her name? Corinne, Corinne, going to make her make another one. But I couldn't afford it. I could afford the floss buddy. I just could not afford the shipping because she's in Australia, I believe. And I just, I can't do that. So um, I'm a sewer, so I made my own. I know, I probably shouldn't have, but I love it. And y'all, if go get them from Bags Plus. They are awesome. I want about five more for my big projects. So I'm, I got my Pooh Bear fabric. And I'm not making these for anybody. I'm not, it was horrible to make. Believe, they're worth the money. I don't know, I don't know how she makes these all the time. But so I need that many more flosses. <laughs> so anyway, I have my two, but not making them, not selling them. Go to Bags Plus, they're awesome. They are so worth the money and the shipping. But we are on a one person working in this house. So I just couldn't do it. Okay. Um, that's all I worked on. I mostly worked on my grace on the, my club project. Because I'm in two of the clubs this year. And I think the next one ships the end of March. So probably like today or tomorrow so I want to get that one finished before my next one comes and that one is ladies quaint club it's Christmas themed I had to sign up for Christmas um I'm gonna get it wrong is it Pineberry Lane oh, I forget the um you'd think I'd look this stuff up before this video but I'll show it to you when I get it. And also, Dying to Stitch. I called Anne at Dying to Stitch. I didn't call her. I emailed her. And um, I ordered another pattern. So she's sending me another pattern that was at market that I, I saw. And I was like, oh my gosh, why did I not get that? 
so she's sending me that with my club piece so I will show you guys that when I get it on my next floss tube but I'm so excited it's awesome mm -mm, mm -mm. no no you're fine I got a puppy behind me I got an Ella bug behind me Ella bug and you can probably hear Luna walking her, her little toenails are walking okay um I got a little bit of haul. I got my market haul from Julie, Gulf Coast stitchy, Stitches. Um, she finally got the stuff and I got it and it's wonderful. So let's see, should I show haul first? Yes, let's do haul first. Oh. I got, that was my phone sounding like a bird. I need to make sure it's not my son, hold on. Oh, it is my son. Hold on. Let me text him back. So I got, um, <laughs> y'all can just, I candy these while I text my son back. I got the new classic Colorworks colors. They're gorgeous. I saw them, had to have them. Okay, he's good. Um, I know you've seen them already. Love this red. I, just, I love them all. You know, I love some neutrals. Gorgeous brown for trees and toads. Gorgeous brown for trees and toads. And a gorgeous red for brick houses. Gorgeous. Love them. So I got those. Spilt my water on my pattern. The Scarlet House Morning Walk. This is me if I could walk. My mom's been coming up and walking me around the neighborhood with the dogs and it's been wonderful. So nice to get out into the sun and just out of the house. It's been wonderful. So this is us. I love this. I love the way she finished it too. I'm going to do that. I think it's so cute. And this one's from the Scarlet House also. I'm going to do this on 40 count. At some point, I'm going to go to Dying to Stitch and get me some 40 count R&R and stitch this. So it's a perfect world. Beautiful. I love it. And it's got four dogs on it, and I have four dogs. And that is my haul. Right? <gasps> no. I have one more haul, y'all. But it's in my plans. So, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I got Stitchy Wonderfulness. Arlene from Kitchen Stitchers. She did a giveaway and I won. This is my very first Nora Corbett. I have never owned one before and I always thought if I did own one or stitch one, I would want to do the sleigh. And I won, so I'm gonna stitch the sleigh with her. She has this pattern also, she had two. I am scared to open it. Um, maybe it might have been open, I don't know. So I need to open it and look at it and see what I need, see what fabric I need. But that'll be fun. Thank you, Arlene. Um, I saw she just put out a new video with her husband, Chef Dave, and it had steak written in the title. So I'm hoping he's gonna teach us how to make really good steak. <laughs> Okay, and then I got a package from Linda Jo, Pretty Southern. How adorable. I mean, really, even if you don't like frogs. I love that fabric too. Gorgeous. And then she made a little 
Notions pouch to go with it. Thank you, Linda Jo. I absolutely love it. And um, one of my mania plans is going to go in it. I just was saving it to show everybody. And I got a donut. Or catcher. So that's my stitchy goodness, kindness, sweetness. Now I can put, well, I'm going to leave this right here so I can put my pattern in it. Okay. Plans. I told you guys that I signed up for the Stitcher's Coven exchange. It's a Halloween exchange and we don't mail out till I think October 1st. So I have a while to do it. But I picked my pattern I'm going to do for my person. I got my person, my exchange partner. And I'm so excited. Because I know, I don't know the person. I know, I know who the person is. But, so it's, it's kind of fun when you know who they are. So this is what I'm going to stitch for my person. I'm going to do them a drum. And I was gifted this pattern from Glenn, the Southern Stitcher. Thank you, Glenn, because I'm going to put it to use. I think this is adorable. And I'm going to stitch it on Feldspar by Picture This Plus. And I chose these two Victorian motto. I had gotten one of the, um, bot, like the bewitching boxes or something. I, I just never showed y'all. <laughs> and I'm going to use these two colors. So that'd be cool. So a drum on this with these. I just want it to be kind of spooky and witchy because it is Halloween and it is like, you know, the Stitcher's Coven group and... So that, I don't know when I'm going to start this. It's not one of my medium plans, so I may start it before May. I can do that, right? Yes. I have it in my Pooh Bear bag. I think this one is from, what, So Much, so much to Love with the little heart on it. Okay, now mania plans. I think I've got my mania figured out. I am going to, that calendar only goes through April. Um, I think May 1st is like on a Wednesday. So if I start on May 1st, I can do five new starts all on, or it might be Thursday. Anyway, I can do a start a week. So I can do five starts, right? Okay. Um, my these are out of order. I'll show you what I'm going to start first. And I know what I'm going to start first and second. And the rest of them, I don't know when I'm going to start. But, um, Not Forgotten Farm. Rest Thy Scissors. And eventually, I'm going to get the little box. And here are my colors. And I'm stitching it on... Is it sand? Yes. 32 sand. Hmm, maybe I'm not because it calls for 36. And it won't fit in the box if I do 32. Okay. Scratch that. Not using this, but I'm going to get something kind of close to that, which I probably have in my stash. And all this came from my stash, y'all. I haven't bought anything like all the thread and linen so far have come from my stash. I wanted to see what I had first before I went and purchased stuff. Um, and this is going in my Linda Jo Pretty Southern Love Me Some Frogs. My next mania, this one is not first or second either. I will be starting Painted Wings by Kathy Barrett. I don't have the called for linen. I don't really like the called for linen, but I'm going to stitch it on this. 
This is a mystery linen. I want to give away, oh my goodness, it's probably been six years ago now. And, it, it, and she said it was 40 count, so I do know that. And um, it's a little bit darker than that. Oh wait, let's see. I'm squishing my dog. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh. Mm, kinda. So anyway, here are my colors, except I haven't pulled the DNC black yet. So I just need a black in there. So these are going to be my butterflies and moths. Yep. On a darker fabric. So I think I think they'll pop more. And this is in a bag that I made a long time ago that, um, y'all know I hate to sew now, so I just put a little frog on the, on my scissor pull. Yes, the least I can sew, the better. Okay, this is my very first Mania start because I cannot wait to stitch this. This is the one that I got. This is my other market haul that I I saw it late. I didn't see it at first. And then somehow, I don't know who showed it. I was like, holy moly, I need that in my life. Um, I think his name is P-Roy. And he's so stinking cute, I can't even stand it. That's Luna drinking over there. Um, he is stitched on 36, but I had a 40 count R&R, &R, a little scrap piece in my stash. So I think I'm just gonna stitch him on 40 count and he'll be a little smaller. And these are the only two colors I have so far. <laughs> so I need to do a little shopping. Um, like the blue and his bow tie, these little brown dots and his eyeball. I'm just gonna use DMC or like, you know, just choose another fancy floss that I have. But um, this is his body. And I think I have enough of that. And oh, I def I want to get that. His little belly. I'm not sure what that. Oh, straw bonnet. Gentle Arts straw bonnet. So I need to get some of that. I need to order that. Um, this is endive. This is the grass at the bottom. This is all I have left. I do have another endive, but it's in with my vintage animals. So depending on how much more I need for my vintage animals, I might have enough. We'll see. But P. Roy is getting started May 1st. If I can wait that long, I can wait. It's okay. I have enough to stitch. But oh my goodness, a slug people. He's as cute as a toad. Mm. Okay. In my Amy Loves Toads bag. <laughs> we'll see if uh, YouTube screenshots that. Okay, this is my second week start. I cannot wait to start this. From the Blue Flower, Janine, my girl, my gallon. It's the kit from Acorns and Threads, and it's a 40 count. So I cannot wait to start this. It's going to be wonderful. I'm stitching on a lot of 40 count in May. And then, is that four? 
I think that's four. This is five. And my frog bag. Can't remember who gave me this one. Somebody made me this one and sent it to me. With the little zipper pull. This is an exclusive from Dying to Stitch. This is also in my Stitch 9 and I haven't even started it yet. I'm crazy about tomatoes. I eat tomatoes mm, four to five days a week. I love them. I crave them. I crave tomato all the time. What is that saying? Am I lacking something? So, and I know Anne from Dying to Stitch loves tomatoes too. So she's so cute. She's got a little wagon and a flag with the birds. And there she is, so cute. So it came with everything. I'm changing the linen. It did come with the blue linen. Changing it to this, which is a mystery. Who, who knows? It looks like an R&R &R and it looks like 36. So, yeah, it's going to be adorable. And then this goes on the back, and then I have the cute little chenille. So that will be my fifth start. Who knows in what order, but I want to stitch on these really bad. So that's my mania, and I need to do some shopping because... A couple of them are kits, so that's good. I don't think I need that much. I only need like one thread for P. Roy. And I probably only need like five or six threads. That won't be too bad. Okay, um, I think that's it. Oh no, I wanted to show y'all, since it's warmed up, the peepers have come out. Well, they've been out for about a month or two. But we are a little frog in our pond. We have a little pond, a man-made pond in, a, in, the back, in our backyard that my husband made. Um, this is the guide for frogs and toads of Virginia. And this little guy is in our pond. He's been in our pond. This might be the third year. But I just went out there to look in the pond and he was on a rock and he jumped in the water. So he's caught a green frog. And if I told you that there was a green frog in our pond, you would just think, oh, it's a frog that's green. No, his name really is, it's a green frog. <laughs> so I wanted to show you how cute he is. Um, so he's out sunning right now. I was going to show you a peeper if I can find it. Okay, so these are the little guys that have been out since, gosh, mid-February. And they're like, beep, beep, beep. They were out like crazy last night. It was awesome. Adorable. So, okay, that's it. Um... I'll see y'all in a few weeks. Okay. Love you.